Look. Every step of the way, you're either learning or you're going in circles. Choice is yours. Picking up weight. I'm picking it up and I'm putting it down. No wonder I'm feeling so great. The numbers go up. I'm looking around. Nobody is willing to wait. The power of taking a break. You want to be great as your life to create. This is your fate. Time to be one with the wave. Under my rhythm, my body come with it. I'm tuned in. I'm keeping it simple. I'm telling you. I just want to fly. That you knew that. Make the Under my rhythm, my body come with it. I'm tuned in, I'm keeping it simple. I'm telling you, I just wanna fly. How'd you do that? Make the right in its eyes. How'd you do that? I had to believe to become the guy. I'm that guy, always knew it. Me and me, but that we're finished. Every step we're moving limits. Let's go. So right there it is. I mean, I got a full count. So today's focus after lifting so heavy was just to get a full count. Ah, we are back in this moment of energy. Where are you right now? What are you doing? Are you making the most of today? Are you having fun? I truly huge key that you can take away from today is have a vision of what you want to be. A simple one is the physique. Like for myself, I wanted to look a certain way, a certain leanness, and I wanted that shredded body, and I didn't believe it at one point in my life, just like I didn't believe dunking. That's why I went for the lean physique because I was like, you know what? I This is another limiting belief I have. I'm going to go for it. So I figured out the body that I want to have. I looked at a ton of men, and I'm like, you know what? That guy looks great. I'm going to be like that. And then I started to notice the fears. Like if I get too lean, will I have energy? If I eat in a calorie deficit, will I have enough energy? And those were were just limiting beliefs because I tried it. I tried it. I had great energy. I almost feel better because my, I feel even more in tune with my body because I'm using less food. I don't need to have such a huge surplus and I just feel amazing. Plus, I started jumping better than ever and I'm stronger with a leaner body. So if I'm stronger with a leaner body, that just makes me feel amazing. So it goes down to how, what fuels you up, what makes you feel the best. And if that training is making you feel the best, that's the best path you should be on. So Going back to the vision is if I have this vision of this lean body, it's really easy for me to kind of go down the path and understand where I'm going because I have a clear vision of where I want to go. But when it comes to jumping or when it comes to anything in your life, if you don't have that clear vision, it's really easy to get off that path. So when it comes to your dunking vision, I've seen this with myself and I've seen this with a lot of people and clients is they want to jump really high, but then they also want to do trick dunks, but then they also want to dunk in games. It's like, those are a lot of different trees you're watering. And if you want to do them all, fantastic. But you have to understand it takes time to do all those different skills at once. And then I have other people that want to get bigger and stronger, but they want to keep dunking. So they don't want to invest the time to get bigger and stronger and get away from dunking. So you can do my method where it's a little bit of both, but you got to be patient. And you got to really notice the fears in your mind that can you do both? Or you can do one, get super strong and bulky and then slowly bring in the athleticism and that could work just as well. But the point is you have to understand that <clears throat> your clear vision of where you want to be. Do you want to be a strong dunker? And do you have a limiting belief that's holding you back from that? Because so many people say, I want to get bigger and stronger like you and the way your muscles and physique wise, right? But I, but they want to keep dunking, but they don't. They keep dunking so much they don't have the energy to do it. Or they dunk and I'm like, you have to go back into the gym and push it. And then they say, I don't have time to do it. It's like, exactly. There's so many more factors than if you just can't do both. You can do both, but it's going to lead you down a path where more obstacles will come and every single step of the way is just an obstacle for you to say, for you to say instead of saying I can't do this say what if I can do both what if I can do more right and those answers should excite you that's the difference if those answers say oh my god if I can get lean and so I'm lifting more weight than I've ever have with a leaner body than I even thought was possible so to me that was an exciting goal and I said I'm going to go for it and that's where the courage comes in but if you're doubting it, it's going to stop you. If you feel like you don't have enough time, then you're impatient and you're going to just work too much and overtrain. So there's all those different things. So that being said, ooh, that being said, I know that was a big burst of energy. So there's different methods for everybody. My method is a fluid body doing your best every single day, like a mindfulness practice. It's worked for me. I love it. I feel the best. I look the best and I, for me, and I really enjoy the entire process, and I'm actually using my training for other aspects of my life because I've gotten to a place where my body looks the way I want. I'm jumping the way I want. I, I've increased my strength the way I want, so I've increased all these different physical attributes. Now, how do I increase those attributes in other aspects? 
aspects of my life, like my business, like my relationships. And if you start to see it, everything's one thing. It's all one vibration. But you can start to learn about yourself through this physical journey. And that's what I've done. And I really want that for you. So if you want help with that, that's the people I want to work with. Those are the people I want to help with. I want to help you tap in to your energy, find what fuels you up, and then remove those blocks that are limiting you from expressing that energy to the fullest. So that is really fun for me. Super pumped. And for YouTube, these videos are just the most fun to make. So I hope you had fun watching this. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe to watch all the things I do from all the different content I make. I love creating content. It's my passion. And it's something that I also want to use my physical journey to remove those limiting beliefs as well. What if I can? That's why I think some of my content has been, I've got so many questions. How do you film yourself? Because I'm like, you know what? What if I make a sick video by myself? What if I make a sick rap song by myself? All these different things. Not saying everything has to be by yourself, but it's just removing those limits of if I had this team, I could do this. If I had this, no. Get it done and build those skills that come from overcoming those obstacles. I'm freaking killing it. All right, have a great one. More videos soon, more training soon. Follow my Instagram for more daily stuff. This Hit me up if you want to talk. Let's get some energy going. Let's flow, baby. Ooh. I just want to Fly. I you knew that. Hit the rim right in the top. That's why I had you do that. I had to believe to become the guy. I'm that guy. Always knew it. Me versus me, it'll never finish. Every step, we're moving limits. Let's go.